Hello and welcome to my channel, Iwindaloo's Gaming. The Dendro Archon Nahida has finally arrived as the fourth playable god of Teyvat. In today's video, we'll test our knowledge of our little bundle of knowledge, Nahida, at level 90 and at Constellation Zero. After three other godly beings of ultimate might, we have our very first small tiny Archon. Nahida might be tiny in stature, but her kit is far from tiny. In fact, this being a first impressions video on a Constellation Zero Nahida will likely barely even scratch the surface of what this little baby god can do. Seriously, she can be used in any of the many Dendro archetypes such as Blooms, Bountiful Cores, Hyper Bloom, Virgin, Quicken, and more, I'm sure. For this video, I wanted to mostly focus on her personal damage output instead of pure support variations. For her weapon, she is using a Refinement 5 Widsith. Admittingly, this makes showing exact damage numbers uh, rather unreliable, but the Widsith is an incredible free-to-play friendly weapon. Tragically, my artifacts for Nahida are mediocre at best. She's using the two-piece Gilded Dreams plus two-piece Deepwood Memories. She is, of course, at constant Constellation Zero throughout this entire video and her talents are at 6, 8, and 6. Since she uses these weirdly shaped worm talent materials from the New World boss, it'll take us a few weeks to level up her talents to where we want them to be. So just know that on top of my unoptimized artifacts, her talent levels are low as well. Now with all that out of the way, let's see how this not yet fully optimized Nahida performs. Starting with her basic attacks, Akara. The animation for this is absolutely adorable. She hops on a big dendro button which shoots out some dendro vine things in front of her. Nahida's basic attack scale entirely off her attack stat, and as such with an elemental mastery focus build, Nahida's attacks aren't going to do a whole lot. Her charge attacks create this square of dendro thing which also has a good vertical hitbox. Next, let's talk about her elemental skill. All schemes to know. The tap version is quick and somewhat short ranged. It applies this Seed of Skanda mark on the enemy. This mark lasts for an outrageously long 25 seconds. On its own though, this mark does nothing. However, if a target with the seed on it is hit by an elemental reaction, Tri Karma Purification is triggered. With Kokomi applying some blooms, and with the Widsith buff down, each Tri-Karma tick is doing a humble 8,323 damage. I'm showing you guys this to showcase the lowest end of damage that Nahida will be doing. However, let's use both the Widsith's buff as well as Spread instead of Bloom. With the EM buff from the Widsith, and no buffs from other characters besides the Electro application from Kuki, activating Aggravate which then activates Tri-Karma Purification, now Tri-Karma is already doing 32,766 spread damage. And after the Widsith buff ran out, the ticks are then doing 18,810 damage. This is extremely impressive for a completely off-field source of Dendro damage. It also spreads on every single Tri-Karma tick. As for her elemental burst, Illusory Heart, it does a lot of stuff. Beyond the sensory overload of its stunning animation, the Too Long Didn't Read version is, first it provides 25% of the highest elemental mastery character's elemental mastery in your team to the on-field character via her passive, up to 250 elemental mastery. Next, having certain elemental teammates provides Nahida's elemental skills, Tri Karma Purification takes with some buffs. As an example, with my current team setup, Nahida's burst is providing the following. It's providing the on-field character 245 Elemental Mastery since her teammate Lisa has 983 Elemental Mastery. Tri Karma's bonus damage multipliers is increased by 20.8% thanks to having one Pyro teammate. 
and next her Tri-Karma tick duration is shortened by 0.52 seconds and thus can tick every 1.98 seconds instead of the default 2.5 seconds thanks to having two Electro teammates. It's a bit convoluted and complicated, but that's a lot of buffs going to Nahida thanks to her elemental burst. As we can see, with her full kits in play and with spread, her Tri-Karma spreads are doing 39,844 damage to our poor Regisvine friend and it stood absolutely no chance at all against our pint-sized Dendro Archon. Let's now take a full Nahida team for a spin against our robot chicken friend. For this team segment, I'll be using Iron Sting, Deepwood Memories Kuki, Sacrificial Fragments, Viridus and Veneer Sucrose, and Giant Fish, Emblem of Severed Fates Beidou. <laughs> Now with the Deepwood Memories and the EM buff from Sucrose, Nahida's Tri-Karmas are doing an explosive 52,869 damage per tick while the Widsith buff is up. Of course the rest of the team is doing some good damage as well, but Nahida is incredible as a spread damage dealer. Let's also demonstrate the very unique properties of Nahida's elemental skill. Here in the Viridescent Veneer dungeon, you can use the camera-like hitbox to easily tag every dude guy in this entire dungeon. Then by triggering an elemental reaction on any one of them, all of these dude guys across the entire domain get smacked by Tri-Karma Purification. This is an extremely unique way to hit enemies that are very far away from you without necessarily grouping them up. If you've ever wanted to selfie your enemies to death, this is one of the few opportunities in any video game to do so. But we all know the overworld is pretty much a joke by now, so how does this quick and Nahida team fare in the hardest of all content ever conceived, Abyss 12? So I intentionally avoided a Bloom team to not abuse the ridiculously OP Abyssal Moon, but even so, that couldn't hold this team back in the slightest. The incredible AoE of Nahida's camera effortlessly tags all the enemies in this dungeon. With a couple swirls, a couple spreads, the first wave is nothing but history. Thanks to the very short 6 second cooldown of Nahida's elemental skill, she's able to effortlessly apply Dendro again to every enemy in the second wave, and then proceed to fill the screen with green sensory overload, although no overloaded were actually happening. The added visual stimuli of all the Electro flying around is absolutely a beautiful cacophony of colorful death. I'm absolutely blown away by how awesome Nahida's kit feels to use. The amount of Dendro she applies feels like it's worlds ahead of the other Dendro characters, and the fact that the enemies don't have to stay in a specific circle is extremely helpful. She doesn't even need her elemental burst to apply a good amount of Dendro unlike the current Dendro characters, which makes it seamlessly smooth to apply. Literally, if the enemy is within vision and not way too far away from you, you're able to swing your camera around to mark them with this reticle of death to apply endless Dendro. These giant robots are completely and utterly dominated by the impressive amounts of Dendro and Electro aggravating everything to death. Another attribute that 1231 demonstrates is that Nahida does very little poise damage aka she has very little knockback in her kit. This allows this team to reliably group the baby lizards by just letting them charge at you and AoEing them down with all the aggravated and spread electro and dendro damage respectively. Overall this aggravate Nahida team without any fancy abyssal moon buffs completed 12-1-1 in 36 seconds, 12-2-1 in 33 seconds, and 12-3-1 in 22 seconds, all effortlessly within the recommended 9 star time of 90 seconds each. So yeah, I think Nahida is an incredible character and so far is deserving the title of Dendro Archon. And this video honestly just scratched the surface of what she's capable of. I decided to focus in this video on her personal damage output, but she is able to provide invaluable Dendro support as well. Building her with full EM is another great way to play her to support and aggravate main DPS like Sino or Kaching, and also to support Bloom comps like Nilo, Hyperbloom, or Burgeon. Since this first impressions video is not long enough to cover all these topics, you can expect me to make some follow-up videos on the other team archetypes. Anyway, I will be talking a lot more about stat optimization in my full Nahida guide video coming soon. And also keep in mind that after 
more farming, as well as more talent materials, our Nahidas will be stronger than the one in this video. Nahida is an incredibly fun, simple to get started with, and complicated to optimize character. The amount of Dendro she applies without being dependent on her elemental burst is incredible, and she is the first character to effectively have global elemental application, and also reapplication with her elemental skill. Let me know what you think about our favorite mini Archon of Knowledge down below. Also, I regularly make Genshin Impact videos, ranging from Caesar showcases, DPS showdowns, guide videos, and more. So be sure to smash the subscribe button as it's the best and easiest way for you to support my work. Also, don't forget to like the video and leave a comment for the YouTube algorithm. As always, I appreciate every single one of you. This is I Went to Lose, signing out. Oh, boy, that's right.